Look how tiny. Two of them. Two white peacock caterpillars on that little plant. Look guys, this literally coming out of the water. And he chose to go up on a piece, a blade of grass that's in the water. See all the minnows, guys? These minnows right there, guarantee you that those things eat white peacock caterpillars. Hey, Keys Moss fans, this is David Fine. Lorenzo's over there fishing. And the purpose for today's episode is we are going to look for white peacock caterpillars in the wild. And they feed on several plants that grow on the water's edge. I'm gonna show you both of their host plants and let's see if we can find, actually find some wild caterpillars. So um, white peacock, Anardia jatrophy, common South Florida butterfly. Their caterpillars are very conspicuous, but we can find them. So guys, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already because we're gonna show you everything we can about the butterflies and moths of South Florida. Let's get into this video. wanted to show the white peacock that's a white peacock female just floating around looking for places to lay eggs very tough to get close to actually is that a that's a male that's actually a male patrolling for emerging females is what that is that's not a female Females are a little larger. Let's see, is he gonna let me get it all close? He's in no hurry to stop. Whoa, 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 whoa. See all those? They're baby snakeheads. Yeah, they're baby, uh, baby snakeheads. Yep. Or they're baby thousands of them. Thousands of them. Oh, you know, oh, you know what they are? There's a peacock bass right there. Where's that white peacock? All right, so I'm gonna try and show you the white peacock female. Oh my God. She's laying eggs, like literally as we speak. How oh, cool. A few. All right, that white peacock right there, that's a female and she is going around laying eggs. This is like, the most cooperative I've ever had an adult peacock be. See, right on the water's edge. That's where she goes to find her host plants, guys. Right on the water's edge. That's her habitat. eggs so you can see the the creeping charlie flower right here and then the bacopa flowers are right there Look at that. Creepy charlie. creeping charlie I'm not sure why it has that name i know it creeps along the floor but i don't know where the charlie comes from all right guys so here's the deal this is my backyard and water's edge the white peacock butterfly is a butterfly that this literally is its habitat. I mean, they live a lot of different places. They have a lot of different habitats, but in South Florida, if you live on a canal, your property is actually white peacock habitat. So uh, guys, it's a, it's a butterfly in the um, nymphalid family and it's a brush footed butterfly. And so what I'm gonna show you guys is both of the host plants of this butterfly live right here and I'm gonna show you both of them. The first one 
is this Creeping Charlie. Creeping Charlie right there. All right, guys, it, it has this, they, they call them Carpet Flower Creeping Charlie. Um, and it lives in the grass and it loves down by the water, okay? And you can see it's like a little composite flower and on that little tiny little bulb right there, there's six little flowers that pop off. And actually, if you look at it up close, it's that they're actually cute little flowers, but they're so small, see how small they are, that it's, um, they, they go unnoticed, right? So it's a weed in the grass, guys, and you can see the Creeping Charlie is actually all over the place. These are the leaves right here, and they pop up little flowers. And you know, it gets mowed, but the Creeping Charlie grows so low that it's it blends in nicely with the um with the with the grass and so down by the water all right now the other flower or the other plant is called bacopa bacopa is this lighter colored leaf i'm going to try and find some flowers for you but the bacopa has a lighter colored leaf it's more almost like a succulent okay and wondering if I can find all right well actually here's one that I started pulling up earlier you can actually pull them up in strings out of your grass and they grow like this like they have these running shoots that run along the uh, your grass like this and oh, I don't know what that is a pretty interesting Look at that flower I have no idea what that is pretty cool all right, but the Bacopa guys grows like this. It grows in the grass. They've got a little tiny pink flower. I'm gonna, oh, here it is. Here's the Bacopa flower, guys. Did it just come off? All right, that's the Bacopa flower. I don't see many of them. So just take a look, because I don't know if it actually fell right off the plant. I don't know how that happened. So maybe they bloom in the morning. But that's the Bacopa flower. And as you can see, the Bacopa actually grows right down into the water. Actually, so does the, so does the uh, carpet flower, the, you know, the Creeping Charlie. But <coughs> I just swallowed a bug. <coughs> I literally just swallowed a bug. <coughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. So now, while you're at the water's edge... You know, there's always other things that you're going to find. You might find minnows in the water like this. You might find, you know, other types of animals and stuff like that. You might find a snake. You might find my son trying to catch a peacock bass over there. Um, he's got some wild shiners. Um, but one of the things, and I've shown you this in other videos, but I just want to show you just how easy it is to find a sphinx moth caterpillar. Look at that. That is Eumorpha fasciata. And it's one of these yellow forms of this caterpillar. They've got multiple different color forms. Uh, Eumorpha fasciata, the banded sphinx. And that's a cool one. Now, there's actually two caterpillars in this frame. Comment down below if you see both caterpillars. One of them is big and yellow. The other one is tiny and green. Uh, now he's starting to move. I bet you can see the little tiny green guy right right by the feet of the uh, of the big one. And when they're small, they've got that big horn, but as they get bigger, they lose the horn and they get like this little nub there on the back that used to be the horn. But anyway, that's pretty cool. Just, just how common of a moth that is. Like you don't see them very often in their adult form, but boy, their larvae are easy to find. Here's another one, small little green caterpillar of Eumorpha fasciata, but that's not what we came for. Um, what we wanted to do, oh, you know what? Look, this is actually the butterfly of the caterpillar that we're looking for, guys. There is the white peacock. Oh, he just flew. Did he land? All right, he's gonna be a pain in the butt. Let me see if I can get a video of this white peacock. Oh. All right, white peacock is, oh, there you go. 
That's the butterfly caterpillar that we're looking for, guys, right there, an Ardia jatrophy, white peacock. It's getting late in the day, so she's probably looking for a place to spend the night and roost. Uh, but that just shows that this is the habitat of the white peacock, guys. But now what we want to do is we want to just get down in here and just start looking for caterpillars, guys. The, the black or the white peacock caterpillar is a black fuzzy little caterpillar and he's got little horns on him and so now the basically what we just got to do is we just got to look and see if we can find one. Oh, check it out found one guys there's there right there is a white peacock caterpillar right there guys he's probably third in star He's on the wrong plant. He's probably molting. Oh, look at this. Here's a first in star. Look how tiny. Look how tiny. Two of them. Two white peacock caterpillars on that little plant. Look guys, this is literally coming out of the water. Once these larvae eat these four leaves, they're gonna have nothing left. They must crawl around. I mean, I don't know how they do it. But guys, look at all the caterpillars. Here's another one. He's probably fourth in star. White peacock right there. And guys, look, there are literally caterpillars all over. There's another two little caterpillars right there. Okay. There are caterpillars all over the place on both of these host plants. And this is like a food smorgasbord for the white peacocks. And guys, here is a fully grown Anardia jatrophy caterpillar. Fully grown white peacock caterpillar right there, guys. That's what they look like. Let me try and zoom in a little bit. Now, when you disturb them, they actually drop as a defense mechanism. They will drop off the plant and fall down into the ground. Oh, see? He curls up in a ball and just literally falls right down into the grass. And that's how they will, that's some kind of a defense mechanism and how they try to avoid predators. They would rather drop down to the ground than just get picked up and get eaten. So there it is, guys. White peacock caterpillar. Sorry for the dog barking in the background. All right, now he's gonna crawl. He's got those little two little blue dots by his head, behind his head on the thorax. And that is pretty cool. All right, well, I'm gonna let him back go here onto his Creeping Charlie carpet flower host plant. Creeping Charlie. Creeping Charlie. That's right. And that's it. But guys, I mean, like, there are literally white peacock caterpillars all over the place. I bet that if I went and just started to collect them, I could I could find a couple hundred white peacock caterpillars just on this one little stretch of my property right here. I mean, they're all over the place. I guarantee you that the little minnows and stuff that cut that hang out by the sides of the water, I guarantee you they eat these things like crazy. In fact, <laughs> I'll pet, I better not say it too loud because I bet my son will start using them for bait. Um, there's another one. See that? He's actually on the wrong kind of plant. This this white peacock larva is is molting into its third instar, and he chose to go up on a piece, a blade of grass that's in the water. The only way that he'll ever get to a place where he can have food again is if he was able to crawl onto this little piece of his host plant right there. That's so bizarre. Guys, that's it. White peacock caterpillars all over the place. And if I just walk down the bank here, I find all kinds of life. All right, here's a dragonfly nymph, or actually a shell, where a dragonfly nymph emerged. It was pretty cool. Oh, minnows getting chased by something. By little bass, you saw it? See all the minnows, guys? These minnows right there?
guarantee you got those things eat white peacock caterpillars like crazy. Guaranteed. All right, well, gosh, I hope you guys saw that spider. That spider was actually working on nailing this white peacock larva. Um, but as I tried to get my camera out, scared him. But I wonder how many of these things get preyed upon by all these little predators, like this spider right there. There's another spider right on the back side of the leaf that this caterpillar is on. These things must get eaten like no tomorrow, man. They're, they're all over the place. I uh, found another example of the Bacopa flower. There's Bacopa. Isn't it cute? Cute little pink flower. I guess they fall off at night. And uh, my son's gonna throw a cast net. What do you think, son? You gonna catch something on that? I really don't know. I hope so. Yeah. Probably not, though. Oh, you opened it up nice. No, not even that. Not even that good? Okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right, keep trying. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Pretty cool to see what you can find literally in your backyard down by your canal in South Florida. Um, what impresses me about the white peacock, the resilience of that little guy, is that they literally live on plants that are in the water. I mean, what happens when they eat the little leaves and then they need to find more food? They have to swim. So they literally strand themselves out and that, I guess that's protection from ants and other type of terrestrial predators but that would be a problem when, with fish because I'm sure fi there's plenty of fish that would love to eat those tasty little worms so guys if you learn anything about the white peacock comment down below what you learned what you didn't know before if you found this video interesting I'd love to hear from you give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we're going to continue to teach you about the butterflies and moths of South Florida um, guys there's there's so many mysteries that are right in our backyard, right in urban South Florida. Look, I'm just in a neighborhood and there's plenty to learn right here. So I uh, hope you enjoyed guys. Let's enjoy South Florida. Uh, take care.